Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain deconvolution. And to explain deconvolution, we have this question. See, if a signal x of m that is given by 1, 1, minus 1. And that is convoluted with unknown signal. And convolution result is noted as 1, 3, 1, minus 2. So, if I say here y of n that is x of n convolution with h of n. So, we need to identify what is h of n which is unknown signal. Now, see before I solve this example, first we need to understand how many samples are there in circular convolution. Sorry, in linear convolution. So, in linear convolution, samples, total samples that is equals to m plus n minus 1. Now, see in this case, total samples are 4. And samples of x of n that is 3 plus samples of n minus 1. So, one can say number of samples in h of n that will be n is equals to 2. So, there are 2 samples which is there in h of n. So, if I say h of n if it is a comma b where a and b is samples of h of n then now our aim is to identify what is the value of a and what is the value of b so here as we know x of n that is given to us and resultant that is 1 3 1 minus 2 so we were been solving linear convolution as basic method and that method was let us mention x of n here. So, 1, 1, minus 1. And y, h of n that is a, b. So, I will mention it over here, a, b. If you multiply this a into 1, a, a into 1, a, a into minus 1, minus a, b into 1, b, b into 1, b, b into minus 1, minus b. And we need to add this diagonally. So, solution of this, that is, solution of this, that is, y of n. So, here, y of n, that is, convolution of x of n and h of n, and that is, a, second data is b plus a, third data is b minus a, and fourth data is minus b. So, if you compare this with this data, so we already know this data should be 1, 3, 1, minus 2. So, from this we can say A is equals to 1 and B is equals to 2. And let us cross verify that in this data. So, see B plus A that has to be 3. So, 1 plus 2, 3 b minus a that should be 1. So, 2 minus 1, 1 means cross verification is even done. We can say cross verification is even done and that is correct. So, from this we can say our h of n that is 1 comma 2. h of n that is 1 comma 2. So, here one thing that we need to remember every time it is not like correct signal is given. It may be possible like whatever A and B that is true for some condition but for some condition if it is not true then one can say this is not linear convolution. There is some error. So, you cannot identify correct answer. So, let us have one more problem. So, which will gives you exact idea about it. Now, see here y of n that is convolution of x of n and h of n and y of n that is given to 1 3, 4, 1 and x of n that is 1, 1, 
टू सो क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड एच ऑफ एन नाउ सी टोटल सैंपल्स so that is m plus n minus 1 and here total samples that is y of n that is given by 1 2 3 4 5 5 so five is equals to x of n samples are 1 1 2 that means three samples are there so 3 so plus n minus 1 and we can say n is equals to 3 so there are three samples which is there in h of n so if i assume h of n is equals to a comma b comma c so let us try to solve what is the value of a comma b comma c so that we already know how to solve it x of n that is 1 comma 1 comma 2 and a b c that is h of n so i can say that is A B C like this. Now multiply this to make solve to have a solution of this matrix. So A into one A, A into one A, A into two two A, B into one B, B into one B, and B into two two B, C into one C, C into one C, and C into two two C. And now if you solve this by having diagonal addition. We'll be getting if y of n that is equals to convolution x of n h of n. So that should be as per this. It will be first data is a, second data is b plus a, third data is c plus b plus two a, fourth data is c plus two b. And fifth data is two C. And if you compare this with y of n, so y of n is what? Two comma one comma three comma four comma one. This is what given to us. So from this, if you compare, we'll be getting a that will be two. Now see, two C is equals to one means. Now see, b a plus b. So a plus b that is one means if you apply a is equals to two over here, so b has to be one minus two means minus one. Now see we can have value of c, so c that will be b plus two a. So b that is minus one plus two a. So we'll be getting. C is equals to three minus b, so minus minus plus one means four minus two a, so a is equals to two. So one can say C should be zero. See, C plus b plus two a that is equals to three. So C is equals to if you place b is equals to minus one over here it is plus four. And if a is equals to two, so c is equals to three minus b minus two a. B is equals to minus one. B is equals to minus one. So three plus one minus four, so that should be zero. So c is equals to zero. Now c, for cross verification, we need to place values here. So c plus two b, so c is zero, b is minus one, so this data should be minus two. And over here, it is four, means this data a b c is incorrect. And two c is equals to one. And here, as per calculation, c is equals to zero, so this data is even incorrect. Means ultimately, you cannot find h of n here as data is incorrect. So h of n cannot be calculated as it is incorrect. So this is how we can solve this type of problem. Sometimes 
you cannot be able to calculate as data is incorrect so this is even possibility so i think you can easily understand this over here i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video please give your valuable suggestions